Well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today, you have the Rhino, we're going to drink a beer. Today's beer is going to be... This one, sent from Brian. Thank you very much, Brian. This is Powerhouse Pilsner from Blackburn Brewing in Niagara Falls, Ontario. It is 5% ABV. It says 20 IBU. Are you a powerhouse? Sometimes. You work hard, push, grind, drive, and get it done. We like to think we do too. That's why when our brewmaster suggested a pilsner, we knew we'd have to grit our teeth and get it done, no matter how long it took. With over six weeks of tank time, smooth grassy hints and a touch of flowery aroma, our effort definitely paid off. Water, malted barley, hops, and yeast. Serving temperature 3 to 5 degrees. It's probably about 13 degrees. So six weeks in the tank. Here's the thing, right? It's a new brewery. So you would think that they want to push things out fast in case there is a big... Uh, in case there is a big, oh my god, this is a great brewery, we need to drink it type of thing. Um, crystal clear, golden straw color, bright white head. This is exactly, exactly what a Pilsner should look like. Uh, I give you thumbs up on that. This is what I should have in my glass. Scent. Hmm. Yeah, smells like a beer. Sweet and grassy. There is still some beer in the can. So we'll hold the can for a second. Ugh. Cheerio. <sighs> okay, now, six weeks in the tank, yeah. You can do a you can do an ale in in normally anywhere from a week to two weeks. Uh, a lager will normally take you anywhere from. I've seen lagers done in two weeks. I mean, it's not the greatest way because a lager should be low and slow. Um, but I mean, you could do two weeks to fifteen weeks if you really wanted to. I mean, uh, and I'm being I'm being very facetious here, and I'm being more. I'm 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 looking at the extremes here, right? Extremes, you could do an ale in a week. Extremes, you could do an ale in four weeks. Extremes, you could do... Well, you could do an ale in even longer in the tank if you wanted to. With a lager, you could do one in two weeks if you really wanted to. I've seen them done. They're not always the greatest. They're not always crisp. This is very crisp beer. You can do one in six, eight, ten, twelve weeks. Um, this is a very clean and crisp beer. That being said, is it a beer that I would, that I personally would like tie up one of my tanks for six weeks with? Probably not, but it is a clean and crisp beer. It's a very nice beer. Uh, I ha do hear they have a lot of tanks, so you might have a tank or two that you really can just lean out to, uh, to lagering. And they also have a lot of capacity, so I mean... If you can get a hundred hectoliters of this Pilsner out, mattering how good this Pilsner ages, you might be able to have a huge amount of Pilsner to sell around. Um, all of that being said, I probably would have done a Kolsch or something, right? Like uh, a little longer, but a little less time, or done like a Keller beer, or uh, or just a speedy lager, just a light lager just sped through. But that's, that's me, but I'm not taking away that this is a well-made Pilsner. Clean, crisp, easy drinking. All buzzwords for a Pilsner. All true on this. Excuse me. It's not cold because I don't drink my beers cold. And there's no faults in this at all. It's actually almost as easy drinking as some macro beers are when they're ice cold. So, I'm getting yelled at about something. Um... 
it's a good beer. It really is. It's a solid beer. I'd give this a 7.5 out of 10. I would buy this again. And I mean, that's a guy that doesn't like Pilsners. That's a guy that's not a big lager guy. That's a guy that wants more flavor. This has all the flavor you could want. And it's easy drinking. Cheerio. Bye.